As Missouri starts to reopen, athletes are getting back to training. And in some cases, training others. I think it's just awesome that these kids want to come out and get better. And um, it's always just a great time to see the smiles on their face. Haley Diestel Camp graduated one week ago from Jury, the place she spent four years setting basketball records. And now she's already prepping the next generation of potential Lady Panthers. They were asking where all my teammates were, and I think uh, there's some future Lady Panthers in the camp, yeah. Here at Redline Athletics in Springfield, Diesel Camp is holding a clinic for kids getting back to training, and for the aspiring coach, it's a way to give back. I love working with the kids. I love um, kind of giving back to the community, and that was one of my biggest things, was just giving back to the community that's given me so much. But if these kids want to meet the bar Diesel Camp left, they'll have to add Paragon Award winner onto the to-do list. This week, the Owensville natives split the honor, given to the GLVC Female Athlete of the Year. It was an honor. I mean, I was uh, at the conference last year, and I just wanted to kind of do that. I'm blessed, and I can't say thank you more to anyone. She's the third jury athlete to receive the award, joining her former coach Molly Miller, now the coach of Grand Canyon University. I'm not surprised. I knew it was coming. Uh, she she deserves it. Uh, she can't stay at Jury forever. I mean, that's kind of how coaching is. You kind of got to build your way up. And she, I think, hit the highest mark you can in D2. She was at her peak, and so I think it was time for her to kind of move on, and she did. And um, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the coaches that went with her. Uh, and I think she's going to do really well there. Now the Lady Panther reins have been handed to Amy Egan, and Diesel Camp can't wait to see what she accomplishes. I'm so happy she got it. Uh, I'm so glad she did, and I think I kind of seen it kind of brewing after she came to Drury. I, I was like, as soon as Molly leaves, I think she's going to get it, and I'm glad she did. She's such an awesome person. She's very personable. She loves the girls, and she's going to re do really well with that program, and she's going to um, take off running right where Coach Miller left it. As for Diesel Camp, the future is still uncertain. I've got a lot of options that I'm still kind of weighing out, and um, nothing's official till it's official. So for now, she'll keep on training future net cutters for her alma mater. In Springfield, Matt Vereen, Ozarks First.